Welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included today. We are going to be getting out there into space to view the star map and go well beyond our little planet here. Or at least, well, maybe not the idea. But we're looking to do some research here, which I know is not terribly yeah, super exciting. But we are going to be doing the orbital micro lab thing. At least that's what I'm looking to do. So what I've got going on up here is the little rocket platform. I've kind of put it up and away from everything else, just to put it up and away from everything else. And what's going to be inside of there is a carbon dioxide rocket. So I can go ahead and put the orbital lab on top of it, throw a duplicate inside of that. <clears throat> Lerda. And Lerda over here will then do some research for me. So I should have plastic. I have 1,350 kilograms of it thus far, all the way over here from, from this thing. So those are my glossy Dracos. Ooh, there's another one. Hello. Come here, little guy. All right. Can never click on it. There you go. Oh, and by the way, thank you guys for the heads up about the fixed blueprint mod and pliers mod. Let's see if it actually works here real quick. Aha! Look at that. So nice. And if I... Oh! Oh! Nice. All right, all right, all right, all right. New blueprint. Oh, yes! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <gasps> ah, yes. See, now I just don't have space for it. <laughs> yeah, on the biggest map there is. No, I'm sure I have space. I'm just going to have to put my dupes somewhere else. What I really want to do is get my sh uh, get my dupes up and moving around with via the transportation tubes, which really means I need a lot more plastic, which means we need oil, which means we need to go to a different asteroid. Hey, by the way, I got what it takes to do a telescope now. Why, 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 let's do that. I can honestly just plop it down right out here with about zero effort. <laughs> Go right on over here like this. Boop. Plug it in. And about the only thing I might want to do here is actually give the duplicates hmm, a way to get inside of a suit. We'll give them something to sit on. There you go. A little bit of granite. I don't know. This is Lurda's th type of thing, though, so... Never mind. Forget that. Yeah, and forget the whole suit thing. She might, she'll be better off sunburnt. I actually don't have regolith. Oh, there it is. There's a little bit me. <laughs> the second I mention it. Aha! That's what's been going on down here with all of these little hatches looking all hurt. Pokeshell must have gotten pissed off. Should probably go ahead and make a little ranch for them. Oh, there was a question about what in the world I was doing down here with this thing. Uh, the shovels will not go through a pneumatic door, so they won't dig through them. And the tiles that are in the corner here are made of obsidian. Or if they're made of a refined metal, that also won't go through either of those. So that's why this was looking the way it was. <laughs> and I didn't have the corner down here because I ran out of obsidian. I'm not trying to do anything fancy. It's just a limit of how many materials I have. And you know what? I think it's a good time to start building up some metal refineries. Yes. If I build it right down here, that should be a good spot for it, because it'll be in the oxygen, so long as I actually let it be in the oxygen. I could just kind of disable that now, couldn't I? The point is, I can go ahead and do this number here, take the pipes, run them right down into a spot where I'm going to have a steam turbine thing, and that's where I can get rid of the heat. Normally, I put this above it, so this time I'm trying to put it down there below it, just to kind of see what that's going to do. Might change the game a little bit. So I can build one of these right here and get that working. And then right down here, this is where all the heat sink and, and stuff can go. What I do need before I really get carried away with this is just a little bit of steel. And that means what I need is a kiln. So we can slap this down real quick just to do a quick bit of refining. And we do have good insulation stuff, so I can actually go ahead and use, well, go ahead and use Mavic right down here. Mmm, yes, build it, my duplicates. Build. Ah, that's what's up. That's why there's more carbon dioxide there. I see. Airflow tile. Good eye, Meep. Look at how happy Meep is. <gasps> Slug eggs! Yes! I love me some little baby slugs. Let me not ever say that again. 
<laughs> All right, so there we go. Now I got my kilns up and running. Just making a little bit of ceramic, a little bit of refined carbon. And then if I go up to the rock crusher, I should be able to make some lime. Eggshells into lime. Hit continuous on that one. Poke shell molts into lime. Yes, small poke shell molt into lime. <laughs> so much going on in my base. Uh, yeah. All right, so this is all coming together. Kind of just working on this plan. Mm, as I come up with it. All right, trying to figure out how I'm going to get power down here. So what I got is a couple of heavy watt joint plates here. I'll build this up, then I can put one more joint plate right there and seal it up so that this could actually be a vacuum. That way the heat from down here doesn't make it all the way back up here. Because there's a, a barrier right there. Aha. Which means I can go ahead and take this and just run power down to these guys. Which I, you know, I'm going to rebuild these in steel. But I'm, I've put them there just to kind of keep track of them. Ha. I have three of them. One of them is going to be for cooling down the stuff coming out of the metal refinery. The second one here is just going to be for keeping the turbines cool. And then the third one is used for cooling the base. So when I go to put one of those in. Another thing I have going on here is a giant uh, pipeline. This here is for carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide will flow all the way up from the bottom of my base up here to the rocket platform. That way I can fill it up with carbon dioxide and get it off the planet. Yeah, look at this. Little oxygen mask. Oh, this is this works so well. Once I kind of find that I need my dupes to be, you know, in ox... I'm mad. <laughs> Darn it. I was just saying how well this worked, Joshua. And here you are, stuck. <sighs> Never mind. Forget it. I tried. I really did. I... <laughs> Oops. Why do you do this to me? All right. <laughs> New rocket here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make this one out of carbon dioxide. Uh, that's what the carbon dioxide engine, I should say. That's what I'm gonna put in there. Apparently, these things can hold more now. Module burden is only three. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put the little thing on top of it, just like that. Let's see if we can add one more to this. A gas cargo canister would be useful because I need oxygen inside of there. How you doing, Lerda? Oh, you're a little sunburnt, aren't you? But how are you doing on the star map? Oh, she's, man, she's cooking through all that. Look at all those planets. All right, Lerda. Yeah, new planetoid detected. Look at how fast Lerda is at this. Holy moly. Oh, she's so fast. <laughs> are you kidding me? Look at this. Uh, this is the game pause here. Nope, there's the next one. Done. Oh my goodness. Look, at, there's another one done. Fastest dupe ever possibly which is ironic what is your skills at the moment how, how much science are you 31 oh. all right so i should bring up the other gas as well just like this mm. <laughs> oh wait a minute ha 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 snippy snip tool thank you i like that then the best one of the best tools ever created for this game they should really just put it in the game. That would be that would be real nice. Who agrees with me? <laughs> at this point of mod, so good it should be just should be in the game. Mhm. Mm I know how to speak. Ooh, what do we have here? Another glossy little drecklet. Hey, 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 bud. Wait a minute. How did shovels get? What? You're in the wrong. Sp how did you get over here? And how did you get out? What's going on here? Hey, hey, wrangle these. Ooh, right. Now, let's see if we can add ourselves a gas canister to the thing. Maybe do we want a solar panel? Uh, let's give it a solar panel. And can I give it a small gas? It'd be nice if I can get all that on one rocket. Oh, looking pretty fancy. Hmm, how are we doing down here? Oh. Good. Got a couple of kilns running. Got a thermal aqua tuna running. I do need a little bit of steel. So I need to run a little bit of water through that. Somewhere, somehow, I need to find just enough water to get that to run. Ideally, I would. I don't want to heat this up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right down here to this polluted water right down there. Which will give me access to this area. Inside of here. Uh, which is going to be a neural vacillator. 
And then what I could do is just put in a liquid pump right down here. And a little um, basic pipe. We'll go ahead and bring that up. And we could just run it to this thing. Right there. And then on the way back down, we'll just drain it back down there. Or shall I, shall I do something with it? What do I want to do? I need, I need to have a couple of tanks. So we have a hot tank right here. Let's go ahead and make it out of something that won't break. And then we've got a cold tank. Now, if I'm just using polluted water, then I'm not gonna worry about radiating the pipes down here. We're just gonna go ahead and use the aqua tuners. If I just bring that in like so, then there we go. Ideally, I wanna make this out of ceramic because this is going to be really hot stuff and I don't want, I would, I would like this to not be hot down there. Although I could just put it on insulated tiles and that would actually help too, so. Let's do that. Insulated on insulated, it's usually a good way to go. Who is starving, Lilu, no! Turn your mask off, please, and deliver some extras. All right, so now I need a little bit of power all the way down here for this liquid pump, so let's pump it up. Okay, so I can see that I'm starting to run into body temperature issues. Oh, I see. I put in another one of those, and that's causing issues. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Those are a little bit hot, and I don't, I don't really need them. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look, another poke shell. Still haven't found my dupe that's really, really good at ranching yet. So that's gonna be my next dupe. I think I will bring in some more dupes though, but I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them. Right here, this looks pretty nice, but I'm gonna have to go to the left or right or something. All right, let me take a look at the rocket up here. Ooh, how are we doing? Gas-wise, do I have any way to fill that? I don't think I have that technology just yet. No, I do not. Okay, so if that's the case, then what I'm going to do is swap this for a battery. So I can do research and then I'll go inside of here and I'm going to have a power outlet. This is where we can bring a little bit of power out because that's what a power outlet is. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> and then inside of here, we go to research. Hello, research. Uh, we put in, in the orbital micro lab, which of course costs a bunch of plastic. So we'll go in here and we'll put in a storage bin for plastic. We'll also go in here and we need to deliver oxygen to this environment. So a canister emptier, which means finally right down here inside of our base, I need to have a bottler for oxygen. So that is a canister filler. There's the oxygen line. And then the oxygen line wants to keep going up and up and up. Let's build that right over there. Actually, let's build it just one more tile to the left. That way I can protect it from the heat behind an airlock behind another airlock and some tile. This way, you know, the hot stuff just doesn't get out and cook everything. Back from being vaccinated, so I am officially somewhat immune to the COVID-19. How about that? All right, well, I just got back from being vaccinated. How about that? About a year ago, I think we were playing around with the protein folding thing. That was interesting. Crazy to think that in that little amount of time, we've gone from that to a whole... Okay, well, maybe not, not what I was messing around with, but similar <laughs> to a vaccine in under a year. Awesome. People are amazing. All right, so inside of here, let's go ahead and take a look at the nose cone thingamabob. Let's go ahead and put breathable gas inside of their oxygen, enable auto bottle, set that to a reasonably high priority. Inside of here, I'm also gonna go down to manufactured material, grab plastic. Technically, that isn't manufactured. Um, all we've done is shear it off of our little Drecos, but I'm sure it's about the same thing. And then inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in, boop, just like so. That way our orbital micro lab can, can run. There we go, dupes are coming up. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. We can go ahead and just leave this open so it goes quickly. But we should be able to just unbottle from here and move it over there. All right, so for the fuel, that is going to be this line right here, all the way over there. Boop, doop, doop. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in just like so. Actually, it doesn't matter if you get the wrong type of gas in there, it should be just fine. And the carbon dioxide will be pumped from down here at the bottom of my base, all the way up there. Actually, let's go ahead and make sure we do a gas element sensor on this thing, just in case, um, you know, things go wrong. I don't really wanna pump a bunch of oxygen up there. <laughs> Look at it go. Carbon dioxide filling up that rocket. Beautiful. Looking good. 
what do we got? We got some plastic in there. Very nice. Colony Lax Orbital Researcher. That's okay. What is the thing that I want to research first? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I need to research all of it. Oh. Well, that's easy. <laughs> the nuclear reactor, along with the uranium centrifuge. Yes, please. I will take two of those. All right. We have oxygen inside of here. Now, if I go back and I find Lerda, who's... Oh, my gosh. Your stress has gone down. That's... It's not good. Go back inside of here. Please enable that so that you run around with a mask on. Oh, you now have two friends. More the merrier. All right. Skills. Lerda. Do you know how to fly a rocket? You do now. Congrats. So, what I want you to do is go up inside of here real quick. Lerda. Lerda, are you inside? Okay, let me set the destination. We're going to be just right up there. Lerda, hey, could you stop cooking for a little bit? I mean, it's all. I, I'm glad that you're doing it. Oh, but we don't really need it. Oh, rocketry. There you go. Where'd, where'd my map go? Okay, there it is. <laughs> we can go ahead and close that. We're going to go ahead and begin launch sequence. Hey, is that no longer hot? Oh, it is hot. That's good. We're doing fine. There you go. Now Lerd is doing the little research. You don't need to navigate. We know where we're at. Ah, oh, darn it, you're doing it again. Now watch how fast she researches. There we go. Five done. <laughs> She's so fast. Okay, so all of that is done. <laughs> Can I do the jetpacks? So this is using plastic per second? So does that mean she's actually more efficient at this than Lerda? All you get to do is work, okay? You don't get to sleep. And you don't get to breathe. Keep going. <laughs> okay, another chunk done. Oh, yes. So fast. <laughs> another one done. Hmm. Now, if only you were stressed, Lerda. Oh, there you go. There you go. Even better. Yes, that'll help. Very good. How many calories do you have in you? Oh, you're good. You don't you don't need to eat for a while. Okay, another one done. All right, there's another one done. And I think that's just about... Oh, wait, wait, there's two more. I was gonna say, I'm just about done doing all the research up here. Lerda, you don't get to sleep? What are you doing? Get back to work. <laughs> oh, she's about to hit turbo mode. Turbo mode, engaged. Ah, oh, but ran out of stuff to... Oh, wait, there's, no, there's one more. Wake up. Oh, wait, never mind. You're done. Okay. There you go, Lerda. You can go ahead and land. And you can leave if you want. Why is there so many bottles of oxygen here? Where are all those coming from? And me? Who said you could take a vacation? Don't you have, like, critters to pet or something? No. It's literally... Not everything is done. Well, anyhow, that research went quickly. Oh, hey, look at what we got now. A grub grub. Hey, bud. Oh, and it's wild. Excellent. That's even better. Oh, yes. Plus 50% growth speed. Sweet, all you are no longer needed. Okay, what else was I doing? Ah, yes. Steel. Okay, so I've got this coming in here like so, and then I'm going to plug it in like so. We're going to make some steel. How much steel do we need? 12 at least because... So you need 1,200 per aqua tuner. Okay, so we'll make 36 in total. Hopefully we have enough tank space for all that. Now, let me figure out the cooling loops here. So if it's hot going in... Okay, here's what I do. Move that to the right. And I'll detect whether or not it is cool enough to go into this tank. If it's not, then it'll come down here. And it will just recirculate. Okay, so I'll go over here. We'll detect the temperature. If it is, then we'll come out over there. If it isn't, we'll come out over here. <laughs> we'll spaghetti it up over there. Mm. And then we'll go out here. Because we'll go over here with, <laughs> with this as a pipe to go... Um... Ooh, steel! Yes! 
Mmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So much construction going on down here. This is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and flip that back on. All right, one thing I'm trying to do over here is just to create a little vacuum. So what I can do is go in there with the gas pump. Mm, probably just go in here with a heavy wall. I'm just using this thing a lot, aren't I? Yeah, sure, why not? Go in there with that. Go down here, deconstruct this building. I'll just put an airflow tile in there and that'll be fine. I'm just pulling a vacuum here so that the heat down here doesn't go up. There we go, got a little vacuum down there, or well, soon to be a vacuum. Just cleaning this area up down there real quick. Try to make a little bit more out of that. I guess I need some refined iron, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take care of that. Oh. You know what? I didn't notice. <laughs> I have nine dupes, but I only have eight beds. Guess I'll have to fix that. Alright, come on, steel. Hmm. <laughs> I need a bit more steel. There we go. Should be just enough. Put that right down there. And I'll come in here and we'll just put down a quick tile somewhere. Just to get a little bit of water in here. All right, so now for some water down here. Guess we'll go ahead and move this down. Well, hang on, let's not put it there. That's a long run for no reason. Okay, put in a little water right there. Enable auto bottling. There we do. go. A couple of bottles in there would be just fine. I might have to close this up for a little bit just to kind of get it up and running. There we go. Hot water is coming in. Cooler water is going out. And around and around it goes. So if I look at the temperature overlay, oh yeah, things are getting warm down there. Oh, wait a minute. I got this hooked up incorrectly. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, um, hmm. How do I get out of this one? All right, so just to kind of handle the whole situation where I'm gonna have uh, mixed gases and stuff inside of here, rather than just putting a gas pump in there and trying to go all vacuum, I'm just gonna create a little bump. This way the extra gas will just kind of get trapped in here. All right, now hopefully before we melt to death down here, let's go ahead and try to sweep all this up. <laughs> Oops, you're getting a little crispy down here. Oh no, scalding. Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's extra hot. Well, come on, sweep faster. Sweep. Oh no, it's turning into steam. Game over. We're no longer sweeping. Run, dupes. Here's the awkward situation. So I need this in order to cool the liquid to make more steel. I need steel to make another aqua tuner in order to cool the steam turbine. Okay, so it turns out this was all completely unnecessary. We just have polluted oxygen and carbon dioxide down here. Whatever, that's okay. Good, I can put a second turbine there if I really want to. There we go. Hey, look at that. Steam turbines run and make a little bit of power. Not like I need extra power, but hey, it's doing its thing. Woo, that is hot. See the tank inside of here is actually going down. We're down to 37.9 degrees. Once it gets down below 30, I'll move it over here and then we'll cycle it back up into the metal refinery and then that thing will continue to run. Oh, there goes all that nice cool water into the other tank. Filling up. Couldn't really see it because there's a chunk of dirt right there. But yeah, that's working. All right, well, it might be kind of a bit of a temporary setup, but I do now have at least some metal refineries up and running and a system to cool down the water that is used inside of those refineries. Ha ha! And we also have some rockets up here that are out doing a little bit of research, so that's been awesome. I think I've made some good progress today. At any rate, though, that's all I got time for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. As always, guys, stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar, out.